Welcome, welcome back to another review for the MCU leading up to um, leading up to uh, Avengers Endgame, which is next month. I, I know, I know, I should hurry up. I know, I know, I should hurry up. I should move on, but this week, um, this week has been killing me. You know, this work, this week I've been having full time. I have a, but this week um, I'm. I have a full-time job well just just for this week um, with my dad my job is very confusing but anyway yeah well, the reason I haven't uploaded this review earlier is because work work has been killing me last last night I came back home last night like at 7 p.m. I woke up at like 5 o'clock no 4 like no, yeah, 5 o'clock in the morning, and I came back home at, like, what, like, 7.30 p.m.? So, yeah, yesterday killed me. Yesterday killed me at work, which is, and I came back home, and my feet were painfully sore, which is why I, I wanted to, like, which is why I wanted, which is why I couldn't uh, upload this sooner. Um, but anyway, uh, my work job is very confusing but anyway uh enough about that we're not here to talk about my work we're here to talk about the next uh movie in the mcu which is the incredible hulk and you know a lot of movies were a lot of movies you know the movies in phase one you know i you know thor captain america the first avengers and the incredible hulk all these three movies i feel like all these three movies are very um underrated they're very underrated movies and i just they're very underrated movies, and I just wish, you know, more people, I wish more people, like, you know, not respected, but, like, just notice. Not If you don't respect the movies, then can you at least, like, notice, at least notice the movie? I, I want people to, you know, be aware of these movies, um, because, like I said, they're very under, uh, underwhelming, <laughs> they're very underrated, um, excuse me, and this movie was... This movie, Marvel, this movie was, I believe it was, um, oh my god, it was it, is it distributed? Is it distributed by Universal? I want to say it's distributed by Universal, Universal. but anyway, Un Universal, you know, Marvel Studios with permission from Universal, um, <clears throat> made this movie come true and and you know this movie stars um this movie stars oh my god edward norton edward norton as dr bruce banner the incredible uh dr bruce banner banner the incredible hulk <laughs> um this is just an air freshener but and in this movie so basically in this movie dr banner he's been you know dr banner he's a scientist he's trying to come up with some kind of formula, some kind of cure, a, a cure to, some kind of a serum that to cure him from the Hulk. And he's been spending, you know, he's been spending his days in, I believe, Brazil, um, you know, le learning different types of meditation techniques, trying to, you know, trying to calm things down and try to be, and trying to be not as active, I guess. Um, but... <clears throat> oh, I should I should point this out. There will be um, not a whole ton, but there will be some spoilers. I mean, the movie came out like over a, like a decade ago, so you had plenty of time <laughs> to see the movie. Like you had a decade, like ten. You had ten years to see this movie. Um, well, ten years and three months since it's twenty since it's March twenty nineteen. Um, you had like you had like plenty of time to see the movie. Um, so, you know, like I said, Dr. Banner, he's in Brazil, he's learning different types of uh, meditation, breathing techniques, um, and meanwhile, he's, you know, he's creating, he's trying his very best, um, to find a cure from, to cure him, he's trying to find some way to cure himself from the, from the Hulk, and, you know, the opening credits, and we see, we see the origin of how Dr. Banner became the Hulk through the, or, through, um, the opening credits of the movie. Like, he's in, like, you see, um, oh my god, it's not, it's not Sam Elliott, it's, uh, 
Why can I? William Hurt. Why? No. William Hurt? Is that his name? Oh my god, why, why do I struggle with these actors' names? But, you know, we see General Wass. And, but we... <laughs> I forgot, I forgot his name. Um, <clears throat> I forgot the actor's name, but um, we see General Wass. You know, we see General Wass and Bet and his daughter Betty. And you know, in the opening credits, we see like <clears throat> we see you know Dr. Banner. He's in this like this like this chair, and you know he's trying to perform this experiment, which of course, like any other, like in a comic book. And like in a comic book way, the experiment goes wrong and he transforms into the Incredible Hulk. And now the military, or the army is, the mil I'm pretty sure it's the military. The military is going after, is going after and hunting down Dr. Banner. And General Watts recruits, recruits, um, General Watts recruits, uh, Tim Roth, aka Tim Roth, who plays, um, Doctor, oh, doctor, <laughs> who plays um, Emil, who plays Emil Blonsky, uh, who in the movie will become the Abomination, and I really like, I really liked um, Emil, I really liked um, his character because the reason I liked his character is he had, the, he had in the movie he had this conversation with General Voss that you know I he said he te he told um, he told. General Wass that I'm a fighter. He basically told him I'm a fighter and I will always be a fighter and I won't stop. <clears throat> and basically, you know, I won't stop until the job is done. And that and he demonstrates that and he proves that throughout this movie because he's not he because General Wass gave him a mission which is to take which is to hunt down Dr. Banner to hunt down the Incredible Hulk. And <clears throat> and you see the determination. Yeah, he's determined. Like Emil Blonsky, you know, he's determined to go after Doc, to go after Bruce, to go after the Hulk, and he's not stopping. Um, <clears throat> and he will do whatever it takes to take him down. And, and one of those, and one of those, you know, and one of those is is you know being experimented on and getting enhanced reflexes and agility. To, and to be somewhat not like on the same level, but somewhere near uh, the Hulk, somewhere near the Hulk's level, um, and then, <clears throat> and then you know we see, and then you know Di you know Banner, Banner he's with you know Banner he's, you know Banner he's reunited I guess in a way I guess reunited with. Um, you know, with his love interest, uh, Betty Wass. And, you know, the two of them are rekindled, they're reunited, and, you know, you know, Betty, she helps Bruce, she helps Bruce to, to, you know, to, <clears throat> to help him on, to help him find a cure, to help him with his cause. And we, and, you know, we see, um, you know, Betty is dating this guy who I found who I found out was you know Samuel or well, no um it's not Samson it's like Doc Samson which is like I did not know that was Doc Samson I did not know um I forgot I don't know the actor's name uh I want to say Tyler like it, I believe like his name is Tyler but anyway um I don't know the actor's name but I, I didn't look up you know I didn't look up the why you know I don't I don't look up I don't look up the cast list for the movie for these movies. If I know the actor, then I'll say then I'll say the then I'll say it. Then I know. If I know, then I know. But if I don't know, then I don't know. So I don't know the actor's name who plays uh, you know Doc Samson. But this is and we find out that we find out that Bruce has been communicating with this Doctor Blue and Doc, or Mister Blue. Um, and Mr. Blue turns out to be Tim Blake Nelson, uh, aka or who plays um, Dr. Samuel Stearns, aka the leader. And this is, you know, this is such a bummer because if this movie had a sequel, we would see. Maybe we could see Dr. We could we could have seen Doc. Maybe we could see Doc Samson get powers. You know, develop some kind of ga powers, um, gamma powers, like in the comics. You know, maybe maybe he. Maybe he does develop some kind of powers, or 
<clears throat> or we could have seen, you know, Samuel Stern turn into, we could have, we could have seen the leader. You know, if this movie had a sequel, we might see the Red Hulk. General Watts transforms into the Red Hulk. We might see the leader. We might see, you know, Doc Samson, you know, Doc Samson coming back and this time having superpowers. We could have seen so much, there's so much possibilities if this movie had a sequel, but unfortunately, um, that will never happen because I'm pretty sure Universal Studios owns the rights to solo Hulk movies. Like if Marvel Studios wants to make a Hulk movie, like a solo Hulk movie, like a standalone, they're probably, they're most likely, yeah, they, they are going to have to get permission from Universal. And I don't think that's ever going to happen. And I don't think that's going to happen. But I like what the MCU is doing with the Hulk. I love what they're doing. Um, so that's basically it. Um, my only, I mean, like, like I said, like, just a, just like, not that, not many major spoilers that I want to, that I really want to talk about. I mean, the act, the acting all around is, you know, per, is great. And, you know, Betty Ross, Liv, Liv Tyler, or Taylor, um, she, like, she and, Jennifer Connelly, <laughs> they both play, they, they both play Betty Ross, and they're both, you know, both Jennifer Connelly and Liv Tyler, they're both, you know, gorgeous women, they should get voted, they should be voted for, like, the most gorgeous women <laughs> on earth, like, <clears throat> like, but, uh, <laughs> anyway, I don't want to, I don't want to sidetrack, <laughs> And talk about how much you know, how much these two gorgeous women play the most, play the same character. Um, but <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> that's basically my review for. Uh, actually, my only negatives, my only flaws with. Um, I mean, this movie isn't perfect. I mean, it is very underrated, but this movie isn't perfect. My uh, main, <clears throat> my flaws is um, you know. Things happen, like, things happen conveniently, like, of course he of course, you know, while he's running away from, uh, Emil Blonsky, Emil Blonsky and his, you know, the rest of the, the military or whatever, his, the spec ops teams or whatever, uh, of course, Bruce runs, runs into those three, you know, those three assholes who are picking, who are, you know, who are trying, who are trying to pick on that one woman, um, at, Bruce's work at the factory um, uh, And you know, of course he wants into them and you know, there's just convenient moments um, And also there's thing and there's, there's only like one or a few things that didn't make any sense um, like Like Bruce swallows he swallows like this data chip. I right? and you know, um, I think you know cinema sins I'm pretty sure yeah cinema sins mentioned this like he swallowed you know he, and, and this has this has been bothering me like he swallows a data chip and then he vomits it back out and that data chip remains intact like there's no stomach acid it's not damaged you know it's there's no stomach acid it's not it's not damaged it's like 100 percent clean and intact like nothing ever happened it made no sense <laughs> made no sense um and I guess, <clears throat> I mean, I guess there were like, there was this like one time where, <clears throat> there was this one time where it was on the nose, like the dialogue was on the nose, like, like Samuel, like Dr. Samuel Stearns, you know, Tim Blake Nelson, he says, he says to Tim Roth, <clears throat> I don't know, the experiment, the experiment could be an abomination. And I'm like, Really? <laughs> I mean, this movie came out in 2008, and I guess back then, comic book movies were still trying to figure themselves out. But, like, that was so on the nose. You know the, you know what that dialogue reminds me of? It reminds me of uh, Venom, like the post credit scenes of Venom, where Woody Harrelson says, there's going to be complete carnage. And I'm like, um, and I'm shaking my head, and I'm like, oh my god, that is the most stupidest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Um, but anyway, and I, I guess there were a f not like not many times, but there were like a few times where, um, there were a few times where, um, 
the CGI wasn't that perfect, wasn't that crisp, wasn't that crispy clean, um, and it, it just, it felt <sighs> icky. <laughs> I don't know the right word for it, but it felt icky um, in, uh, in some shots, in some shots, especially uh, at, in the finale. Um, but yeah, <laughs> but yeah, um, the Hulk, but yeah, the Hulk and Abomination were, were having a showdown at the finale in Harlem, um, and I, and I don't know if the Luke Cage TV show mentioned, I, I'm pretty, I don't know if they mentioned, I, I don't remember, I don't remember if they mentioned, uh, you know, there's two, two green, uh, monsters, two green goliaths smashing you know smashing into each other um finding each other in harlem like in their home but anyway that's basically my review for um the incredible hulk like i said like back in phase one this movie came out in phase one which phase one like except you know except you know i felt like phase one um was very under underrated except for iron man because iron man is just great i, I mean everyone can agree that that movie sh started off the mcu great greatly and and i'm pretty sure all fans and critics alike they love that movie but every every other movie is where things get divided is where people their opinions get divided but for me i feel like this i feel like phase one was very underrated uh, was very underrated and i feel like this movie is very underrated it's like, it has like what 66 67 percent of rotten tomatoes it's not that's like that's it's not that bad it's not that terrible i prefer this movie definitely I, I definitely prefer this movie over um <clears throat> over um the angly <laughs> angly 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 hulk movie with uh eric banna um but anyway <clears throat> but anyway that's my review i probably give this movie a b a B. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. I wanted to. Get, I was like, I was thinking, do I want to give it a B plus? Nah, I give it a solid B. It's a solid B movie for me, in my opinion. Um, but in Tomatoes, it's just I don't really. <laughs> I highly disagree with that rating. But anyway, that's my review. And let me know what you thought of the Incredible Hulk. Um, let me just. Move up. Let me know what you thought of The Incredible Hulk. I mean, this movie came out over 10 years ago. So yeah, sure. Spoil the hell out of this movie. Um, and I will see you in my next MCU movie, which is... 2010? Iron Man 2. So uh, we're going back. We're going back. <laughs> we're having another... We're having a sequel of the MCU. So, bye.